poverty is a global issue but do you know this fact that most of the women are affected due to poverty the un women report had highlighted that around 2 billion of women lacks the social protection and why is it so hello and welcome to the in new series of this tis i am ritu and today's session is about un women report and what it talks about the women condition and their social protection and this session is important for your gs2 perspective and it can also come in your essay and ethics examination so coming to the discussion part so we are going to discuss about the news then we are going to discuss about the findings of that particular report and we are also going to discuss about the government schemes which has been launched by india for women and pregnant women and then we are going to discuss about practice question for prelims before that you have to like share and subscribe to this tis channel moving towards the news part so before moving to the news part i have an an important announcement for you as you already know that this tis has several branches across the nation so there are uh, isgs foundation courses which is at lucknow indor and karol bag delhi so if you want to avail information about these classes you can call on to the number 8010440 8010440440 so this is the number i'll write for you 8010440440 and if you are staying nearby you can also visit to the offline center so this is the news so as already know that on 17th of october there is a day the day name is international day for the eradication of poverty and tomorrow is the 17th of october and on this day what we have seen that un women report has highlighted some shocking results about the plight of women and especially related to their maternity leaves their, their wages and everything so this news which we are going to cover up in today's session so uh, this information i have already told you so here are the lucknow karol bag and indore and these are the dates 16 17th and 13th of november then uh, we'll come to the findings of the report so what the report revealed so the report has revealed that around 2 billion women and girls are without access to the social protection and what is social protection here means that schemes which are related to the women empowerment development their education the cash benefits the maternity leaves the extra care uh, maternity thing and also so many health benefits and uh, what you can say entrepreneurship benefits so so many things which are related to the women empowerment which are related to their safety and security are a part of the social protection scheme and this report has highlighted that around 2 billions of the world women are lacking the social protection and what it had highlighted more that uh, since 2015 the gender disparities in social protection coverage had widened but still we are not able to fulfill our sdg target which is sdg 5 which is related to the women so we are still lacking behind and this data 2 billion women is shocking for us because majority and most of the women are not covered under the social protection so we'll have another findings so a uh, growing burden of gendered poverty so the report also paint the dark picture of gendered poverty and it says that women are over represented in terms of any poverty data and most of the benefits which are related to the social protection are availed by the men and women are still lacking behind in accessing the social protection benefits and especially the women who are of the child bearing years uh 25 to 34 years are more vulnerable towards this and between this age group 25% more likely than men have live in extreme poverty so this age group has become very much vulnerable and because of the conflict as you already know that geopolitical tensions are going across the world and so many countries are fighting in such circumstances women became victim and because of their social protection they have a constant threat of poverty they have a constant threat of their security so in that condition in any conflict kind of situation women become more vulnerable and climate change also because we have this patriarchal tendency that 
women uh, are not educated they are not given preference in the society so they lack awareness regarding any scheme and most of the time we can see that women are working on the fields and uh, they are working at as a very low paid wage worker and because of climate change many times their jobs has been snatched so in that condition women become more vulnerable so these are the contributing factors of women living in extreme poverty and it has also says that with women in fragile environment being 7.7 .7 times more likely to live in extreme poverty in comparison to men so we'll have another data another data is about dismal state of maternity protection so here they have given a separate column about maternity protection and in that says that around 63% of the global women does not have a social protection during their maternity time so they do not have maternity benefits uh, and the majority more than 50% of the women are not having the maternity benefits and also there is a lack of financial support during their maternity leave and not only places women at economic disadvantage so you know this particular thing is uh, what you can say transferring from one generation to another generation suppose that a woman is of child bearing age and she has produced a child and that child is a girl so that poverty has been transferred to the girl also so this is what you can say this is a contagious in a way you can say that from one generation to another generation it, the poverty has been transferred and women are forced to live in the extreme poverty so here we'll discuss about the examples of progress so this report has also highlighted that there are few countries who have shown a positive change and uh, examples of progress so suppose it will take example of mongolia in which what we have seen that maternity leave benefits have been extended to informal workers also such as the herders and the self employed because here also we can see that in organized sector in india we have maternity benefits we have six months leave we have work from home facilities for the women but if women are the daily wage workers and she is working in on organized sector and she is not a registered employee or registered worker in that condition they are forced to live in their home without any work and without any payment so this is the condition that's why women are moving towards the extreme poverty and their children are also suffering because the women is not uh, affluent so here uh, we have also provision of paternity leave and uh, here uh, in our country also most of the corporate sectors have this provision of the paternity leave but they are not uh, equal to the women if women are getting 6 months the men are getting only 15 or 20 days so here there should be also a reason that women are forced to live in extreme po uh, poverty because they are the ones who are taking 6 months leave and without uh, pay leave in that condition it has become very difficult for the women because the onus of responsibility of bearing a child and rearing a child is up to the women because men are going to the work because they are not getting paternity leave so this is the need of an r that men should also get the paternity leave and they should equally contribute in the child rearing then uh, we have for example of senegal so in senegal the national health insurance has been uh, expanded and it has been expanded to the rural women also and uh, with this example of mongolia senegal and paternity leave what it shows that it shows the paternity leave uh, benefits that how men are also contributing into the child rearing process also how national family uh, welfare is helping a country to uh, countries women to not live in a very fragile condition and their health and their security will be taken care by of the government so these are the positive example which gives hope to the other countries that if we we'll implement such kind of the policies there are chances that women should not live in the extreme poverty kind of condition and men and women can equally contribute in any kind of the social developmental process so here we'll have some examples of government schemes which is run by the indian government the one scheme is the pradhan mantri surakshit matritva abhiyan and what this particular scheme is about so it will provide a short comprehensive and quality antenatal care and it happens into the 
नाइन्थ डे ऑफ एवरी मंथ विच इज फ्री ऑफ कॉस्ट एंड इट इज फॉर ऑल प्रेगनेंट वेमेन देन वी हैव ऑल्सो प्रधानमंत्री मातृ वंदन योजना एंड दिस गिव द फाइनेंशियल सपोर्ट टू द वेमेन एंड ऑल्सो टू द चाइल्ड सो दिस इज फॉर द प्रेगनेंट एंड लेक्टेटिंग मदर्स एंड इट विल गिव द अमाउंट ऑफ फाइव थाउजेंड रुपीज ऑन द फर्स्ट चाइल्ड इन टू इंस्टॉलमेंट एंड इफ द सेकेंड चाइल्ड इज ऑफ द गर्ल दे विल गेट सिक्स थाउजेंड रुपीज इन वन इंस्टॉलमेंट फॉर दैट यू नीड टू हैव रजिस्टर सो यू नीड टू रजिस्टर द बर्थ एंड दिस विल ऑल्सो प्रमोट द केयर ऑफ द वीमेन एंड ऑल्सो द इट विल प्रिवेंट द फीमेल इन्फेंटिसाइड्स एंड इट विल प्रोमोट ओवरऑल द वीमेन एम्पावरमेंट एंड गर्ल्स चाइल्ड सो दिस दीज आर द फ्यू स्कीम्स वीच वी हैव फॉर द प्रेगनेंट वीमेन एंड वेरियस स्टेट्स हैज ऑल्सो लॉन्च स्कीम्स फॉर द प्रेगनेंट वीमेन एंड लैक्टेटिंग मदर सो दीज स्कीम्स मस्ट बी प्रोमोटेड एंड देर शुड बी द अवेयरनेस रिगार्डिंग सच काइंड ऑफ द स्कीम्स एंड वी नीड टू वर्क ऑन द वीमेन हु आर नॉट वर्किंग इन ऑर्गेनाइज सेक्टर हु आर वर्किंग इन अनऑर्गेनाइज सेक्टर सो वी नीड टू हैव सम पेड leave kind of policies to them so that they can also take the maternity leave and their health and their security will not be compromised so this is about the government scheme now we'll come to the question part under which act is the pradhan mantri matru vandan yojana being implemented maternity benefit act 1961 the right to food act 2013 national food security act 2013 pradhan mantri jan aryogya yojana act so you have to answer this into the comment section so that's it for today's session i hope you like this session if you have any queries let to this session kindly ask in the comment section and do prepare this topic for your mains also because this is very important for the health of the women for their empowerment and how women are forced to live in extreme poverty so you can highlight and you can quote this particular report and you can quote some data also if you remember so thank you have a nice day for more informative content like share and subscribe and do not forget to press the bell icon to get the notifications